Hey, what is up everyone? This is Jake Pimentel here from Pyam Technology with another video. And in this video, we're checking out the new iOS 18 messages via satellite. That's right. You can now send text messages via satellite on iOS 18. Let's go ahead and check it out. In order to activate SMS via messages, your phone needs to lose cellular connection. So as you can see, in this case, I have one bar of Verizon LTE, and it is a very weak signal area, and then my phone dropped to no service. Uh, so when the phone drops to no service, you can then go into the Messages app on your iPhone, and it will pop up at the top asking you if you want to send messages via satellite. All you have to do is click, you know, connect to the satellite, and it will go ahead and start getting you connected to the nearest satellite in the area in order to send messages when you have no service. It is showing me how to connect to the satellite. It says this can take a few minutes. I find that it usually doesn't take a few minutes. It is usually pretty quick. And as you can see, I am already connected. It literally took like 30 seconds if that one of my favorite new additions in ios 18 has to be the new menu that apple created for satellite and as you can see it's super cool it'll actually show where you are you know on the earth and it will show you know which direction your phone's pointing and it'll show where the satellite is in space so that is extremely cool it's super interactive, it's super responsive, and it just makes this feature like that much cooler. You know, the geek in me is like, this is awesome. Um, and then it, you know, it shows you all the different things you can do, including messaging, you know, sending your location via Find My, um, if you need roadside assistance or emergency SOS, you can interact with that in here as well. I absolutely love it. To send a message, it is super, super simple you interact with the messages app just like you would if you were on a cellular connection. You go to the person that you want to message, go ahead and type up a text message, and click send, just like you would normally with a cellular or Wi-Fi connection. So Apple makes it super, super easy to send messages. And I tested it with a few friends. Um, it currently works via SMS to either iPhone or Android. In order to use iMessage, the other person does need to have iOS 18. Um, so whenever I tried to send an iMessage to somebody on iOS 17 or below, it would just send as an SMS. Um, so everybody that you are messaging, in order to use iMessage, will need to be on iOS 18. However, if they aren't on iOS 18, then it will just send as an SMS, and I found that it worked perfectly. And I was even able to use emojis via satellite. I was able to add reactions to messages, and it worked perfectly fine. Now, you are not able to send pictures via the satellite. Of course, um, you are not able to send URLs, or anything extra like that, like a GIF, um, those don't work via satellite. Just plain text uh, messages or um, sending a reaction to a message or sending an emoji, all of that works via satellite. However, at this time, group chats are not available via satellite. Now, of course, because this is a technology that runs over satellite, there are going to be brief instances where you don't have access to a satellite. And that actually happened during my testing. I was sending text messages just fine, and all of a sudden my iPhone let me know that I no longer have access to a satellite and I need to wait five minutes for another one to become in my view. Um, and I found that it was actually really accurate, though. Within the five minutes that Apple said, I was able to once again connect to another satellite in my view and send text messages again. So that's really cool that it'll actually tell you when you can get access to the next satellite. It doesn't just leave you hanging saying, hey, there's no connection to a satellite, sorry. It actually tells you 
you know, when you'll be able to get access to the other one, and it is very accurate, which is great. Another thing to keep in mind is that in order for this to work, the person with the iPhone on the satellite must initiate the conversation. For example, I had a friend text me from their number. I hadn't started a conversation with them or initiated a conversation with them. And I didn't end up getting those text messages from them until I got back onto cellular connection. So if somebody reaches out to you when you're on the satellite, you will not receive those text messages. You must initiate to the other person and then they can then respond to you. So uh, if somebody just sends you a text message you know, from their end when you're on the satellite, you won't get it until you're back onto cellular. This is kind of unfortunate, uh, but I think I see why Apple does it, likely because there's the possibility for the satellite bandwidth to get overloaded if somebody is receiving just a ton of text messages. So in order to prevent that, they have to make it so that the person initiating the conversation is the one um, who can then receive messages from the other person. And of course, just for fun, I decided to test the messages via satellite feature while in a moving vehicle to see if it would work. And indeed, I was able to send a text message via CarPlay while in a moving vehicle. That is super cool. And it just goes to show you that you don't necessarily need to be in an open field with a clear view of the sky in order to get this feature to work. In some instances, you can be in a moving vehicle and still be able to send text messages via satellite. And I also found that I could even set my phone down. Um, you don't really need to exactly be holding it up to the sky in order for this feature to work. So really, really cool stuff. All right, so that was fun, but now I'm gonna go back to an area that actually does have cell phone service. And in this, it's over here where the sunlight is beaming a little bit higher up on a hill here. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk over here. Uh, it doesn't seem like the iPhone want will recognize when you do pick up service again. It's kind of something where you have to like airplane mode your phone um, in order to get service back. I'm not sure if this is just a bug um, in the beta one. I'm assuming eventually the iPhone will just automatically switch to the cellular network once it gets reception back. All right, so I'm over to an area where I can get cell phone service in this area. Um, and as you can see, it's still connected to the satellite. Um, so it doesn't seem like it wants to automatically connect to the cellular network. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and use airplane mode to refresh the service here. Satellite connection ended. Airplane mode. We'll give it a few moments here. All right, so now I'm gonna let it go ahead and try to reconnect to the cellular network. We should be able to get one bar over here. There we go. One bar of Verizon LTE, actually two bars. And now we are back on the uh, Verizon LTE network. So it seems like you do go ahead and manually force your phone back onto the cellular network. I think this is a bug. Uh, I believe Apple is gonna want phones to automatically go back to the cellular network once the cellular network is available. So they're not having phones just camping on the satellite. Uh, but I guess we'll see what happens uh, in the future betas. Uh, but for now, I needed to force my phone to go back to the cellular network. All right, that is going to wrap up this video. What do you guys think of the new messages via satellite in iOS 18? Are you a fan of it? Do you think you will ever use it? I think this feature is really neat. Although a lot of people, for the most part, are not going to need to use this feature, in those instances where you are in a remote place and don't have any cell phone service, this could be a huge deal. 
not only do you have the emergency SOS side of it, which lets you contact if you have an emergency, but you can also just send messages to family and friends if you're on a hike in the woods and you have no cell phone service and you just want to check in with somebody or, or even just catch up on a conversation with a friend. You can do that with this new feature on iOS 18 uh, with messages via satellite. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on any new videos that I post. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends so they know about the new feature in iOS 18 that allows you to send text messages via satellite. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Smile because you and technology are amazing. And peace out. I am getting just surrounded by horseflies. <laughs> <laughs>